Baals are so severe that a person can take a piece of food which is 100% kosher and make it non-kosher by saying it's forbidden for them, as we mentioned yesterday. This does not mean that vows are set in stone and cannot be removed. Today's mitzvah is the mitzvah of the annulment of vows. There are various details to this mitzvah. If a person makes a vow and then they regret making it, they can go to the local court of law or the, the local wise people, the sages, and they, they say that they regret making it. And three sages can annul the vow. If a young woman, if a girl makes a vow, her father can annul it. And if a, a married woman makes a vow, her husband can annul the vow if it was something which would cause harm to the marriage or pain to the woman. Now, interestingly, although the annulment of vows through a, a husband or father is mentioned in the Torah, the annulment of vows through sages is not mentioned. It's fully passed down in the oral tradition, the oral Torah. And there's an interesting line in the Talmud that says that the, myth, that the annulment of vows flies in the air without support from the verses. This is a mitzvah, this is a mitzvah which is clearly um, passed down mostly in the oral Torah. As we mentioned a few days ago, we spoke about the fact that the oral Torah came together with the written Torah. Many things were not written clearly in the Torah, but were passed down from God to Moses at Mount Sinai. There is the verse that we mentioned yesterday, that one cannot profane his words, meaning that one can, cannot profane their own words, but somebody else can remove the, the, the vow. That just alludes to this mitzvah. It doesn't um, bring it out clearly. Now, vows are generally not a good thing. We have the mitzvahs that the Torah gave us. We have 613 mitzvahs. We have more than enough laws. And um, it says that if somebody makes a vow and it's not needed, they are actually, it's like they're building an altar outside of Jerusalem. They're adding uh, sacrifices. They're adding, um, adding um, sacrifices in a place where they're not supposed to be, be made. One ha we have enough sacrifices in the Torah that we, Hashem asked us to do. We are not, we're, not, we're not looking for extra things. There are cases where a person has an addiction or something which is causing them harm. And going to the other extreme by making a vow is encouraged by the rabbis. Thank you for watching.